we're using CCM currently for front wing parametric analysis. The thing with the multi element is, apart from its difficulty to manufacture as compared to a single element, getting all your parameters right in terms of overlap, gap, and the different chords and the different angle of attacks of each element is, is not as easy as it sounds. But we intend to basically do error of the whole car with CCM. Uh, we just use the Star CCM and I, I deal with the entire car and sometimes individual components like the front wing and nose cone combined and the rear wing, but usually I try to do everything in the full car all at once. So I'm using Star CCM Plus to run a <clears throat> simulation on the sloshing of our oil, on our oil pan. Um, as far as learning the program, we spent an entire semester just trying to figure out how to run the simulation correctly. Um, we found a <clears throat> simulation video that CD Depco had made on fuel sloshing for a Formula S80 car, fuel tank. So we adapted that simulation, which is very similar to what we're doing, um, to meet our needs for the oil pan. Uh, the user interface, I'd call it interesting. While at first it seems daunting, I think there's no better way to do it because there's just so many options to deal with that if they tried to make it pretty, like a lot of other softwares do, it would just take a lot of extra clicks and waste time. And, the, and it's definitely much easier to design it using CCM than any other tool. But the way the meshing is in CCM, it's so um, it's so automated and there's not much of manual work you need to put in. And it just makes you focus more on the physics and the results rather than spend more of your time modeling the simulation. So that's what I like about CCM. And once the two weeks learning curve got over, I don't think I'll ever use at least till now any other CFD software to do at least aerodynamic analysis. Why is because we have to read something like that. Um, so now we put we put wall we put baffles in it. Basically just little little walls all the way through to impede the flow away from the pickup and hopefully help it guide it to go to the pickup. So we have a probe that sticks down exactly where the center of the pickup for the oil is. And then we measure the percentage of the surface area of that probe that's covered in oil at each time step. We, we need downforce to uh, increase our track time or increase our performance. Uh, we need to reduce drag to not hurt our performance. And really, the only way to do that is through full three-dimensional CFD. So uh, in Star CCM, I run different velocities from 0 miles per hour up to 70 because that's the max our wind tunnel can do. And I get our downforce and drag numbers and when we go to the wind tunnel, uh, we'll run the same velocities and we'll be able to see our downforce and drag. And last year we were within, I think, 10%, which was really good. So basically what we're doing currently is we're building the model in SOLIDWORKS and we're exporting it uh, to uh, but in terms of pipeline, we definitely have a pipeline and definitely have created a pipeline just to make it easier for me to change stuff, change up uh, parameters. Two very useful workflow features in Star CCM that we use is the 3D CAD design parameters and the operations node. So here we have a 2D mesh of an airfoil and normally what we'd have to do if we wanted to test different angles and spacings of this second element here would to make dozens of different versions in our CAD program which could take hours and hours but with design parameters we can change our relative angles and change our translations and all we have to do is update the CAD models and update all of our operations and in less than a minute, we can have a new mesh ready to solve. And there it is, we already have a new mesh ready to run.